What's up, Planet Pokey? So I got a battle for you guys here, and as I promised in my last video on here, it is a bit more competitive, and it's an OU match, essentially. My opponent said mixed tier, but he didn't even, like, bring any non-OU. Uh, so that's my battle. And before we get started, the common question is, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Mine is Dark, personally. I kind of want to know your guys'. Uh, so, anyway... He's going to lay off with Salamence. I'm going to lay off with Shaman, actually expecting him to lay off with something else. And I unfortunately did forget what my hidden power was. Uh, never do that. That's a bad thing to do. But I'm pretty sure it's hidden power fire. That's kind of why I need to, like, in my realms, get to the point where the uh, hidden power guy is. So at least when I get a Pokemon with hidden power, I can find out what it is. So I'm going to bring in my choice spec Slowbro to threaten out the Salamence. And if he did want to stay in... I had an Ice Beam waiting for the Salamence, but he does go to Blissey. I go to uh, my Espeon right here in case he wants to go for the Toxic. Because, I mean, Blissey's are notorious for carrying Toxic. And I was actually suspecting, like, the Seismic Toss, but Flamethrower is even nice. Much more nice, because it's not going to do as much damage to my Espeon. And he goes for the Scene, just to make sure our Magic Bounce I could not be. Because... I don't know, I don't really know who runs and synchronize Espeon too much anymore. But, yeah, I went for the Hidden Power Fighting. It did about as much as that Choice Specs Ice Beam did. And uh, I'm going to bring in Snorlax, because Snorlax can take special defensive hits pretty well. But, unfortunately, he does get put to sleep by that Blissey. Rather disappointing, especially since I am not the Sleep Talk variety of Snorlax. I am actually the Cursed variety of Snorlax. Which, uh, if he had ever burned me, that would have been bad, but I do have rest for, like, when I get enough curses up to survive. And so I'm going to go for one curse. And since he knows I just need to set up multiple cur curses to really do damage, he is going to switch into Conkolder, which is not something I really want to see. Because, uh, Conkolder, Conkolder facing the Snorlax, not the best thing. So he's going to go for a bulk up as he, um, is pretty sure that I'm just going to keep setting up in return. And I actually go for the return, which this is max happiness return. But of course, Conkolder does have enough hit HP, and it does have some pretty good physical bulk. And I'm only running a little bit of attack investment on the Snorlax, because I'm mostly hit point and special defensive investment. So, unfortunately, like, yeah, the return... I don't want him to get kill my Snorlax and get back all this health. So I am going to bring in my Tornadus. And, uh, so... Basically right here, I am assuming that he probably is taking a guess that I'm like the Hurricane variety of Tornadus, but I'm actually the Bulk Up Acrobatic set. I just never got a chance to set up Bulk Up. And uh, once this thing can set up Bulk Up, it can really shine pretty well. And he's going to bring the Magnezone, and I'm going to go for the Brick Break. This Magnezone caught me off guard because I assumed it was just a normal special attacking one, but it turns out it would appear to be a dual screen Magnezone, and I'm running Brick Break, so he doesn't get to set up dual screen, so that's great for me. Uh, kind of a reason to run a Brick Break Pokemon in OU. There's a lot of dual screeners in there. If you ever are doing OU, I do recommend a dual screen breaker, such as, like, Tornadus with Brick Break, or Scizors with Brick Break work as well. So, he is going to bring in a Volcarona on, and I brought in my Choice Spec Slowbro, and he goes for the substitute, I guess just to scalp what I'm going to do, and unfortunately since he did go for this Quiver Dance, and Slowbro is only a base 100 special attacker, even with Choice Specs, this is not going to kill the Volcarona. Had this been in rain, it probably would have, but it's not, so that's not as fun. So, yeah, he is going to just outright KO me with a Bug Buzz, because... Slowbro special defense is a little bit lacking, which is, is the reason some people choose to run Calm Mind instead of a Choice Specs, but I thought Choice Specs would be best. And here is a Choice Bandit Scizor. If you are new to competitive battling, I do not recommend doing more than one Choice Set or any Choice Sets, but if you are used to competitive battling, you can get away with about two or three Choice Pokemon. So now I switch into my Espeon, because I need to set up this light screen for later on for Scizor. Because if Scizor doesn't have the light screen, it's not going to survive a flamethrower from Blissey. And really, that's the main point. Because I know I can't take Blissey out in uh, more than two, like, in less than two hits, I mean. So that that's really disappointing. I've been in Snorlax, and I'm banking on them actually switching. So I do go for the return. 
to get some damage off on this Salamance. And it does some pretty decent damage. Unfortunately, he is going to go for the straight Outrage. And since I don't have any curses up, it is going to do a pretty good amount. And this was really dangerous because now, like, Dragon Dance, Outrage, Moxie, Salamance is actually legit thanks to the move tutors in black and white too. So it was dangerous to go for the return in case he did set up the Dragon Dance, but I figured since if I got damage on him the Salamance he wouldn't. So I brought in Espeon for the revenge kill because Espeon's faster than Salamance. And then I get a crit with the hidden power fighting on Blissey, which does help down take down some of Blissey's bulk. That is really good for me. So I'm gonna run in Scizor. He is gonna go for the flamethrower expecting to outright KO me. But since Blissey doesn't have like any special attacking investment and I have light a light screen up, that is to my advantage. The only thing that can get me now is this Tyranitar if it is running the Fire Blast. Because most Tyranitars do tend to run the Fire Blast since Scizor is a number one OU Pokemon. And I knew that a Magnezone would die from a Choice Banded Bullet Punch easily, easily. The crit does not matter. And he brings in Tyranitar, and to my luck, he does not actually appear to run the Fire Blast, as you will see, because he goes for the Crunch, and that is lucky for me, because that means I win the match. So comment, like, and su subscribe to Planet Pokey if you're watching this, and haven't subscribed to Planet Pokey yet, and come check out my channel. It'd be great to see some of you guys there. Remember the comment question, what is your favorite Pokemon type? Let me know in the description, and I'll see you guys later.